next day out here working on the old big block manifolds are off folks they are off this side you know you don't have the master cylinder and all those lines and stuff in your way but it's actually the toughest because uh, I don't know bolts were a little harder to get out on this side a little more of a fight had to heat up a couple uh, you know bang and tap that's the way it goes But like a couple of bad teeth that were yanked out of there. Wanted to show you these uh that's what goes inside those uh off those stupid smog tubes. And uh, you can see she was cracked. There's only a little crack right there when I first got it. I tried some of that, uh, you know, all that stuff you buy on the shelf. You're supposed to, it says you're supposed to be able to repair um, cast iron exhaust manifold with it, but. I think it worked for a little while, maybe a month or so, but you can see there was other cracks as well. This side, the uh, passenger side was pretty bad, but also you got this wacky little valve thing in there that is supposed to open and close and who knows whether that thing is you know restricting you but these are just uh, plain old restrictive <clears throat> pieces of crap pretty much so that pipe uh, just cut it in a nice spot it was, a, it was a piece where it connected, there was a clamp, it was kind of rusty, so I decided to cut that right off, and uh, if I have to add a piece, I will. This side, I don't know, it, uh, when I cut it, it fell right off, the hanger in the back uh, broke off or something. That's all that was on there. So this is what I was talking about. Kind of chewy. So just eliminate that right away before that becomes a problem. And you can see this came right off the flange on the manifold came down, but when they bent it, I mean look at how how extreme of a bend that was. And it kind of made the pipe uh really small right there and you can see how it rusted it because for some it's you know such an extreme bend all the moisture and everything sat right there and this truck did sit for a while the old timer had it he didn't need it sat in the yard but I don't like that I don't like that bend at all it's not very nice but Yeah, the bad tooth. This one actually uh, not in bad shape. I actually really didn't see any cracks in this one. I thought it was cracked, but I think it was uh, leaking out of the where it connects. There it doesn't look very kind of wonky there, so I don't know. But suppose someone could still use that. But, you know, you just uh, get these out of there and 
put some plugs in, take these stupid things out. I really wanted to uh, get this whole engine kind of degreased down and cleaned up a bit in here, but um, the nice, the warm weather got away from me. The hose is, can't use the hose now, so we've got, um, there is one little car wash, like a self car wash thing up the street, but it's uh, watched by Wi-Fi cameras, I found out. The guy just sits somewhere and uh, just watches people wash their cars in there. It's like uh, enclosed, you know, it's heated so you can close the door, which is nice. But <clears throat> washing your greasy 1980 big block inside there is kind of frowned upon, so that wasn't going to happen either. So now it's too cold to do it, so I'm just, uh, I cleaned up a little bit, you know took some brake clean and kind of cleaned up this area but should probably take the valve covers off and uh, clean them up and put some new gaskets reseal them maybe they even deserve to be painted up uh, maybe something I don't know some color lights flashing kind of a weird thing I always look for these tripods when I go to um, flea markets yard sales uh, there's a lot of thrift shops up here you can find a lot of old weird stuff but this thing's in perfect condition it's a JC Penny uh, big price of five dollars which was cut in half for a uh, Christmas half off sale so two dollars and fifty cents got that beauty the legs all move nice it's probably hardly ever been used and I have uh, I have this newer one here black one it's not too bad it's got some broken latches and stuff, uh, so kind of limited to uh, the functions with that. And uh, this one right here, this is this is an oldie here. This has been around since way back in the day. This is a classic. Argus, Argus, I don't know, old Japan, but don't know where I found this, but you can see we just, uh, we like rigged a bolt in there and, uh, you know, just threads into pretty much any camera, but at the time, this was, uh, this was like the first one when I first started making YouTube videos and I just used a little uh, little digital camera you know a cheapo one I think it was actually like a Polaroid brand digital camera probably one of the first ones and uh, a lot of those original videos all the death by boots and stuff that tripod right there was uh, was being used. I do have a couple other small ones, you know, just those little cheap ones. Sometimes you find uh, and I also have this one. It's also a it's like a little uh, tabletop one, but it's a Sears. Can't even focus in on that. I don't know. There you go. Sears. But basic little quick and light. You take it with you. Uh, 
Um, I have a couple other little ones like that, but yeah. Just a weird little side note, you know. I do enjoy this stuff. Most people would uh, look at me and not think that I liked photography and stuff, but I do. I own uh, several video cameras, and I also have a, uh, it's like a $600 um, Canon, you know, um, real nice camera, anyway, that, uh, I don't like to take out of the case much and get dirty, you know what I mean? But, yeah, most of the time, like, what I'm using right now is my phone. And, uh, it's just kind of easy. I don't know, you kind of get lazy and you just pull it out and start making a video. But, um, like I said, I have several other ones. Uh, cheapo, like, GoPro knockoff. Um, stuff like that, but... coffee nice in here